morning, everyone. Bob here, and welcome to gait training exercises for seniors that will improve our mobility. That's just a fancy word, gait. It's just a fancy word for walking. We need to be um, well balanced and strong lower body to be able to walk safely so we don't fall. So those are important to me, those ideas. So before I show you what the exercises are, I'm going to make some porridge here. These are organic oats going in the hot water. And got my stove on here. And while all the oats are cooking away here, we can get started with the exercises. So I'm going to warm up with some marching and I'm going to make sure that um, I'm holding on to something like my countertop here. I'm just going to lift my legs off the ground a little bit, not too high. Maybe hold on with two hands and march facing the counter. Maybe just one this morning. Depends how I feel. Marching on the spot here. Getting some blood down into that lower body. Those big quad muscles and hamstrings in the back. See if I can get the lubrication going on here in the knees and the ankles, the hips. And when I'm ready, I'm going to just start to lift my knees up a little higher as I walk. All right. Good work. Good, walk some more here. Maybe I'll just kick out the front. Point my toe to the ceiling. Get those hips going. A little bit more walking. Push my heels back. Lots of important muscles going on in your hips and in your legs to keep you mobile so you want to warm them up. Good, and some more walking. Maybe a little bit of out to the side. I turn this way and do that, it's easier. And a little bit more walking. And then maybe I'll try to kick my butt with my heels. Right, get the legs up as high as you can in the back there with the heel leading the way. And a little bit more walking. Maybe I'll do a little walking now. Let go, swing both arms. If I feel like I'm not balanced, hold on. Let go. Hold on. Let go. Maybe I'll do a little step touch to the side here. Let go, hold on, good, I think I'm ready, I think I've warmed up. Okay, I'm going to start in a chair, I'm going to sit under the edge of my chair, a nice sturdy chair here, my favorite wooden chair. I'm going to sit under the edge and I'm going to hold on with my hands, sit up nice and straight, push my hips forward a little bit, keep my feet shoulder width apart, my feet are flat on the floor. Okay, and then I'm just going to lift my knees up. High as I can get them. How many? Maybe 10. Good work. Then the second exercise is going to be a straight leg. So I've got my heel on the floor. Maybe I'll back up a little bit so you can see better. Heel on the floor, straight leg, this leg's bent. Stabilizing this side of my body, I'll work this side first. Holding onto the chair, lift the toe straight up, the straight leg straight up. This is good for your quads, your hamstrings, and your hips, and your ankles and feet. About 10 of those. Good, let's switch the other legs, comes out straight. This one is bent and flat on the floor there for stabilization. Sit up the edge so I can free up my hamstrings and then sit up straight as you do this. Don't lean back, don't lean forward. Lift the leg, take your time. Try to do around 10. 
Breathe comfortably. Straight leg lifts. So we did the knees up, right? About 10 of those. Then we straightened the leg, heel on the floor, toe to the ceiling, and we lifted the straight leg up without bending back. Did about 10 of those. Switch sides. Good work. And then just to keep those ankles nice and supple and Mobile, we're going to just point and flex. So you can have your foot close to the ground, but can you lift it a little bit and point your toe and then flex it by pulling it back in and point and flex. Let's do about 10 of those on each side. Point and flex and point, flex. All right, sit up straight, breathe comfortably. I can smell my porridge. Right, and then try the other side. So straighten the leg and point and flex. Point, flex. So we extend and we contract. Point and flex. Point, pull everything in. Get everything as wide and as long as you can. We do that all day long when we're walking about the planet Earth here. We just get close and then we get long. Good, good, good. Just sort of, just for a sec, take a couple of deep breaths in through your nose and blow out through your mouth. In through your nose and out through the mouth. The next one's called a step over. So I'm going to still hold on. I'm going to take my feet to the side and I'm going to pretend that there's something down there that I need to step over. Yep, there it is. You can put something on the floor if you want or you can just pretend. That way, if you don't get your legs over it, you won't kick it over and have to pick it up. So just point and flex, and then get into the step over. All right. Sitting up straight, lifting your leg up as high as you can, and lift it over to the other side, the step over. We do a lot of step overs throughout the day, so this is getting you ready for that walk. Right, so what we did, we pointed and flexed. You can do this slowly, pause if you want in each position, or just point and flex. Do approximately 10 of those. Other side, point, flex. Really point, you see how that feels when you're really pointing, and then when you flex it, you pull it in, see how that feels in your leg. Sit up tall, hold onto the chair to maintain that posture. Point and flex. Just about 10 of those we did, I think. All right, and then we went to the side here and we stepped over. I should check my porridge. But I have to do one more after this. Yep. Okay, so with my feet shoulder width apart, my knees are right above my ankles, are they? Let me check. No, I should bring my ankles in a little bit. Right, I'm sitting up nice and tall. I'm holding onto the chair. I'm going to push off. So I have to lean my body forward just a little bit. I'm not rounding my back. Keep it nice and straight from your neck down to your tailbone. So I'm going to hold onto the chair, lean forward a little bit, and push off and stand straight up. Check my posture and then slowly come back down. Where's the chair? Sit up straight, check my posture, holding onto the chair, lean forward, push, stand up. Notice my feet, they don't move. Make sure you know where that chair is on your way back down. Make sure it's a sturdy chair, it doesn't slide. You wouldn't want that to happen. We only have to do 10 of these. They're called the sit to stand or the stand to sit. Working all the muscles you need to be able to walk safely and not fall over. Just a couple more. 
And after this, I'll check my porridge. Let's just do two more. Posture, up, check your posture, and down. Good, sit to stand. That's round one, using the chair. This is for my wife. She doesn't eat as much as I do when it comes to the porridge or the organic oats. That's enough for her. I'll eat what's in the pot. We're gonna add all kinds of goodies to this. So I got my porridge all ready to go here. Whoop, I have to add a little bit of this maple syrup. It's because I have a sweet tooth, thanks to my mother. Anyway, so I got my bananas, my hemp seed, my flax seed, my kefir for all that bac good bacteria. Got a little bit of yogurt, plain yogurt, the blueberries, and um, the almond milk, which isn't really milk. Um, is that it? I think so. And then I'll mow that down here. Yeah, that's just for me. But after I had to do my exercises. So I'm holding on again, as you can see, and I'm standing up as nice in my best posture, standing posture, best posture I've got today anyway. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift my knee up, try to get it as high up as my hip. I don't want to lean back. I don't want to lean forward. I want to stand up nice and straight. And then I want to take this bent leg and push the bottom of my foot back behind without leaning forward or back. Just push it back and then lift it up again and put it back down. And then I'll do the other side. I don't have to turn around. I can hold on. If you'd like to stand this way, holding on with both hands, that's okay too. So I'm standing up nice and tall, I'll lift the leg up so the knee is as high as the hip. Hold it there briefly, say three seconds, then push the bottom of my foot into the wall that's not behind me, standing up nice and tall, and then come back up again, and then put it down. Let me try that one more time on this side up. Hold it, three, two, one, push it back. Keep the leg bent, three, two, one, back up, three, two, one, put it down, and up on this side, three, two, one, three, two, one, three, two, one, and then down. We're going to go out to the side, but before we do that, we're going to come up again here, hold it briefly, then I'm going to turn it out to the side without rotating our upper body. Just take our leg as far out as we can using those hip muscles and those leg muscles, bring it back and put it down. So this one comes up, about three seconds, out to the side without turning our upper body, back and down. Let's try that again here, up, out, back and down. And then this one comes up, out, and down. You got that one? Okay, now we're going to take the leg that's on the outside here and lead with the heel and push it straight out and keep it straight. Don't lean forward, don't lean back, don't lean, don't lean. Just take it out, stand up nice and tall. And then after three seconds, bring, keeping it straight without touching the floor, bring it across the front of your body. And then back up again. And then down. Let's do that again on that side. <clears throat> and then we'll turn around. So we go straight out, lead with the heel. Stand up tall. After three seconds, you can change and bring it down. Turn around, I'll do it this way. Other leg, straight out, lead with the heel. Stand up tall, don't lean. Cross in front. And down. And when you're ready. And down. Good. And then there's one more. I call this whole thing the one-legged routine. There's one more. So I'm standing up nice and tall. Keep the legs straight. It's on the outside and push my toe up to the ceiling. 
Leg is straight. Don't lean back. Stand up tall. And then take it way back. Keep it straight. And then back down. Let's try it again when you're ready. Open front. And open back. And down. Other side. Oop. And back. Oop. And down. Is that the way I did it? I, I, now I'm all mixed up. I want to do three moves, right, in one little routine here, or one little exercise. Down. Okay, that's the one leg.
every morning. Yummy. <laughs>